dear Earthmates, we are visiting George Onsi in Cairo, Egypt, one of the culturally richest and exciting, most exciting corners of our planet. And uh, we met about two weeks ago. Uh, uh, and uh, he's a very colorful and dynamic personality with wonderful uh, output, uh, fruitfulness. Uh, hello, dear George Onsi. I'm happy to be together. Hello, my friend Tarek. Uh, thanks for uh, this invitation and uh, welcome everybody. Welcome from Egypt. Uh, you have a very rich uh, personality and uh, output works, as I mentioned. Uh, how would you describe yourself? I mean, how did your love for literature and human humanity begin, for example? Well, originally, uh, I, I was raised as artist, you know. Uh, by myself and I tried to learn in different schools of art. That's how I started in my child since my childhood. Okay. And then uh, I started to write in order to express more than uh, the drawing or painting would express because uh, my paintings were charged with ideas and concepts more of philosophical and symbolic and expressionist uh, kind. Uh, so that's why I uh, turned it also to write, but uh, I never abandoned um, uh, uh, paintings and art. So uh, I coupled both of them and I used to post uh, uh, a long series of, of, of uh, painting poems together and which turned to uh, some books. Uh, now uh, I... I, I I've published uh, in India my fifth book, which is um, uh, Dialogues uh, Across the Centuries, but it was, there was uh, uh, less one, uh, be one into, um, in the one, uh, calling for uh, human unity, you know, across their uh, barriers of uh, religions or uh, races or whatever. And also, uh, there was uh, a joint book, uh, uh, which is uh, which was uh, also published in India. A joint book with uh, the great philosopher, Indian philosopher and poet, Doctor Anand, uh, uh, "Voices from Eternity," and uh, also with Oscar Wilde, uh, a short story uh, accompanying uh, Oscar Wilde step by step in his. Um, difficult, uh, last difficult years. Uh, and uh, in all of those, I'm using their own words, their own words, conversating with them through their own words. So uh, I also studied music and I uh, improvised music. I studied uh, music into, uh, theory, notation, harmony, uh, melodies. Uh, I also uh, do researches because uh, I felt always that uh, art and thought can be uh, married, get married in a way that can create models, visual models for uh, analyzing problems rather than using the palabra trend, we call it palabra talking and talking, you know, till the end in our uh, meetings uh, for any issue around any issue without getting to uh, something concrete, like a concrete mechanism or uh, something to, to solve, uh, you know, the problems uh, and uh, to face the issues, the risks uh, facing our world. Uh, so that's why um, I tried to create through my doctorate in the 90s, uh, uh, a model, a geometrical approach for problem solving geometrical approach for so problem solving, which is, is a, a geometrical model or visual model to map out problems with all their components in order to analyze, to display all their components and to analyze them in order to get quickly and, and you know, effectively to a uh, solution actions. That's what we are using in our foundation now, uh, RRM3.
uh, yes, very useful, very functional. Um, um, how about RRM3? Uh, what do these words, uh, this short expression stand for? What does it stand for? Um, RRM3 stands for Renascimento or Renaissance Millennium 3. So it is calling, as uh, from its name, it's calling for another Renaissance, a new Renaissance, you know, um, for our millennium, which is facing many risks and troubles, you know, with suffering humanity, uh, suffering world. So that's why we are trying to. Uh, to, to raise that call for another Renaissance. I started with the, the, the Italian word for Renaissance, which is uh, Rinascimento. That's why it's RRM3. Because, you know, uh, historically speaking, the original, uh, the original uh, Renaissance started actually from uh, that time. Uh, between the 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 the, the fourteen and sixteen um, century, it started by uh, Italy, from Italy, and that's why uh, and 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 most of our supporters uh, uh, from uh, from Italy compared with the Arab with the other. Uh, 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 European countries, although we are, uh, our motto is mainly for all Europe saying, it says, um, together for Europe's future, together with Europe for the world. So we are working for Europe's future, which is rapidly changing demographically, but in the same time, we are trying to uh, uh, help Europe uh, or, 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 or reorient Europe or guide Europe, uh, activate Europe to help the, the entire world, which once uh, exploited one way or another, maybe through imperialism or other ways. And that's why this is uh, our uh, motto. And uh, most of our supporters, uh, our executive director, Franca Colosso, Dr. Franca Colosso, he's a founder of uh, many women um, uh, activation and movements. Uh, beside the researchers, and also we have uh, our vice president uh, Nikki Tipina from uh, England, from UK, who is the founder of GPLG Global Peace Lock. Uh, let's talk. She is uh, our vice president in RRM3. Wonderful, wonderful, and I have also met them thanks to you, and I will have interviews with them soon. You are most welcome, and you are also member. A very special member with us, right? Thank you. I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I would like to, to say also that we, we, when we started to be a, a, just a Facebook group, it was uh, uh, the, the the great Italian writer and journalist Goffredo Palmerini who suggested it to be association, international association, uh, or organization rather than just a Facebook group. Uh, because he is connecting over 200 um, uh, publications around the world and he keeps regularly pub publishing about our vision, activities, and achievements every time. That's why uh, he is appointed, he was appointed as associate president with me, as uh, uh, myself, as uh, president, founder, founder president. Thank you. Wonderful. And as, as you know, uh, with some uh, friends uh, from all over the world, we have formed an uh, Earth Civilization uh, Network. Uh, and so we have similar parallel and co complementary uh, yeah. approaches. And you are also, of course, uh, uh, wonderful uh, Thank you. new members of our uh, initiative. These Thanks. initiatives, synergies are flourishing and finding each other. So the global synergy is becoming yes. more and more efficient, very important. Yeah. And uh, uh, you have a long-term uh, vision. Of also, you are not disconnected from the present and immediate needs. For yeah. example, the, your uh, uh, inspiring uh, in initiative regarding uh, helping 
the uh, people uh, in the earthquake areas in Syria and yes. Turkey, Turkey. And uh, would you kindly mention a few things, whatever you wish to? Uh, okay. Uh, in fact, we are working on different levels of actions because our world needs different levels of action, different levels of contribution and channels of contribution. Um, so uh, although most of us are mainly uh, poets and writers, and some of them people of culture and media, but uh, culture doesn't help only uh, you know, um, by itself, uh, uh, the human, suffering humanity. We need different levels, more concrete levels. So we start from the spiritual level through our writing, art, and cultural uh, contribution. Then the cultural intellectual this is the second level. Then the third, which is humanitarian, doing humanitarian initiatives and the contribution to humanity. Uh, then the third, which is analytical scientific, which is more of research. We have a group uh, to, of 20, 30 researchers, uh, you know, distributed uh, uh, in, in about uh, 12 areas of research. And then finally, number five, uh, the level uh, which is more concrete, which is the practical development. When uh, as, as suggesting and uh, designing and following up uh, SD uh, sustainable development projects for the needy communities and countries. Like that, we are uh, helping the world through different levels, through different channels, starting from the, his, uh, the, you know, the human, the soul, the soul, and then the mind uh, and heart, feelings, then moving to uh, his physical needs, whether for refugees or crisis management, as we are doing now for Turkey and Syria crisis. Yes, thank you. Uh, you're improving good models for other earthmates uh, to be inspired by. Yes, uh, and uh, what do you think about uh, Egypt uh, when, or Egypt in the world and growing up in Egypt and becoming an international intellectual, uh, an artist, uh, writer, poet. Uh, when you look your life, we are both now, we can say we are both 70 years old, right? We are both yeah. 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 almost um, born in 1953, both of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, for example, looking back, your youth, we were both about 15 when the 1968 youth, uh, you know, university protests and that activity began. Yeah. yeah. What, when you look back, what were your impressions about that, for example? And then what else would you like to mention? What, what are... What were some of the important uh, e events, national in Egypt and international, that influenced you, one way or the other, positively, negatively? Well, actually, I, I'm influenced by by the the historical, uh, you know, um, course of history of of of, of my country, because. Um, it's been giving uh, a lot to humanity through its um, outstanding architecture, culture, thought, and scientific uh, progress uh, since the early early dynasties. You know, the, the, since thousands of years, like for thousands of years, actually. So uh, this is my my, my main, um, you know, an inspiration and uh, what influenced me as to be Egyptian, but Egyptian of uh, of leadership to humanity, uh, you know, to, to be as big as the pyramid and things and uh, 
all that long history, outstanding history. Uh, this doesn't exclude or doesn't uh, claim that we are better than others, but together with the others who can do something, the other cultures, because each culture has its value, it's precious in its own. Uh, I was uh, invited to Cairo some years ago yeah. uh, uh, by some friends there, and uh, thanks to my friend yeah. um, in uh, Bangladesh, Shahriyar Kabir, and we had this gathering about secularity. Secularity. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, in my life, um, as far as writing is concerned, I wrote something about Amenhotep the Fourth, very mm -hmm. interesting personality, and uh, uh, also a poem about uh, the pyramid uh, uh, Cheops, as they say in the West. But, um, and my musician friend Selman Ada composed it for a tenor. It's one of the uh, songs in uh, one of our works. Yeah. Uh, yes, very fascinating. Um, uh, how do you? What what when you look? at our world, uh, what would you like to mention? What are some of the positive things and negative things? Well, actually, I'm seeing uh, many negative things <laughs> than positive things, but um, and many risks, you know, around us, many conflicts and, you know, um, the human being turned to be something wild. You know, you can hear about uh, war everywhere and the intention of war uh, everybody is preparing to 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 fight the other uh, but um i would say that um uh th the same technology which is about to destroy our life because of people who uh, get benefit from it or exploit it in a bad way can help us you know connect our ideas connected to, to the whole humanity a good idea about a better future about humanity how to rebuild humanity for example i wouldn't have done all all, all uh, I, I i have done uh, if uh, if we hadn't that much of technology you know and that um, uh, awareness of technology and most practical use of technology so technology, although it is being materialized and and being part of the weapons used to, uh, also in the fight and war, but in the same time it could uh, help uh, those peacemaker makers around the world. So sorry, uh, there's something. So, sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Um, uh, who are some of the thinkers and writers, artists, personalities in world history uh, that influenced you positively? I think Gandhi is a great example because he, he turned all the revolution inside him and that sense of, you know, of of defense to his culture and his people into something peaceful but still very powerful powerful enough to uh, to stop the aggressors uh, uh, even though the that aggressor was the, the greatest empire that uh, you know um the the, the as they say, the sun uh, couldn't, you know, set or, or 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 no, from from its its boundaries because it is so extended, so powerful. So he could do something with the mind and with the soul. There is something, and the other thing about Gandhi is that that he learned from all religions, 
And although he was Hinduist, he found in other religions what the followers of those religions themselves couldn't find. For example, in Christianity, who uh, uh, among our preacher would say that um, Jesus is is a pioneer. He was his his model in all his his struggle, as he said literally, a uh, superior model. But in the same time, he, he found in him a political and economical uh, reformer. Who said that among our Christian preachers or or, or theologists? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, quite a few or, or nobody. Uh, but but he he found that, and he still is, uh, you know, uh, holding his religion till the end of his life. But he learned from uh, uh, this and that and all religions in order to unify human thought and the human spirituality into one. One struggle, one struggle, because we are here to struggle. And uh, uh, the, the very core of all religions and ideologies is to fight, fight well. And fight doesn't mean um, using violence, but fight by this in order uh, to create a better world, okay, to stand against all uh, injustice and um, all uh, things that that are destroying our life in order to build uh, a better future for our world and for generations to come. So, um, about 53 years ago, 54 now, years ago, uh, I wrote on the anniversary of the foundation of the United Nations uh, in high school, um, the principal and teachers wanted me to write a composition to, to read yeah. to students. Yeah. And I severely criticized the United Nations yeah. uh, for the inefficiency. Yeah. Uh, I was 16 then. Now, at the age of 70, I think, uh, well, it's better than nothing. But of course, we know that the United Nations is a platform of governments. Yeah. And uh, uh, some of the governments... Most of them are despotic in the world, unfortunately. So the world, the future, the humanity, and all living beings actually need uh, initiatives like ours. We are forming the real United Nations. Yeah. Uh, so instead of disregarding the United Nations, uh, okay, it's better than nothing, but it needs improvement and we should... Uh, help the United Nations yes. <laughs> to help better. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, yes um, uh, how about literary figures uh, in literature? Who are some of your uh, favorite writers, poets? Uh, well, I like William Blake because he there's so much. Uh, I, I consider him my, my tutor, my teacher, mm. uh, because uh, his uh, his soul is always alive. You know, he expresses very spiritual things. He, he's deep in 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 spirituality, and uh, of course there are many, especially also the Russian. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I like also music. I'm I'm inspired not only by literature, by but by music in different forms, especially those of Baroque or Renaissance or uh, Gregorians or um, or classical music in different forms. Uh, because I studied music too, as I said. Uh, so there, there there are many kinds of inspiration actually. But the point is. I feel that I'm inspired mainly from um, uh, the source of, of all of all those, which is which is God, which is for me, uh, you know, I, I I I I call call that power or that source God. Maybe for those who doesn't believe it this way, you would say um, the source or the logos behind all that universe. 
and I respect their opinion, and I respect all people of all ideologies, whether they believe or not in one God. But I, I feel the, the main inspiration comes from that, uh, you know, vibration that talks to somebody inside him and, uh, you know, uh, uh, push him to, to uh, inspire him, activate him uh, to, to do something. And even through the difficulties we, we meet in our lives, you know, we create something out of that difficulties, those difficulties. So uh, I felt my life journey altogether is a source of inspiration. Whether uh, by by it's pleasant uh, it's a pleasant uh, moments or or days or periods or it's saddest or dark dark periods, both counted to uh, what I am now, what what I I can give now. True. Yes, uh, this liveliness, this interesting strength, power in us yeah. says uh, struggle, uh, yeah. resist, and uh, try to do good things in spite of the negativities. That's yeah. very interesting and, yes, very ethical, very important. Yes. Um, uh, when you write, do you have a special time of the day, for example, morning or night or any time, anywhere? Uh, what are your preferences? Do you usually start with pen, pencil uh, and, and computer or directly computer? What are your likes uh, about this? What, what do you like about these? Well, I, I don't have a special schedule, but at least... Uh... Uh, I'm devoted to give all time to creativity. Uh, I, I, I was working only two days for the university where I worked for, for, for about 10 years. And now uh, the contract was two, two days a week. And even that, uh, you know, I sacrificed it. Uh, and I, I left my work so that I can be devoted 100% for our organization, RRM3. So I work about uh, 15 to 20 hours. Even when, when I sleep, I keep thinking about what to do next. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy uh, working. Uh, some of them I, I, I write the, when I'm motivated by an event or a problem or issue that's, that's been raised and I have to reply or comment on sometimes some occasions important occasions like the day of woman international day of woman or the day of uh, peace or whatever uh, and also the books the books so my fifth book is now on amazon everywhere uh, dialogues across the centuries and my next book what with what uh, which i wouldn't say my, its name but it is Something like that, but more powerful, uh, concentrating on uh, special personalities that changing the course of history, uh, dialoguing with them. So uh, uh, it will be three parts, and I will work on them. But now also, uh, I started to schedule my time in a way that the contribution I told you about that is a spiritual cultural, the five levels, the spiritual culture, humanitarian or fraternal, uh, then analytical, then uh, developmental or practical. Uh, I, I'm trying to, uh, to present with my friends and colleagues uh, in RRM3 a weekly uh, contribution of uh, crisis management, starting with that crisis of the earthquake uh, in Turkey and Syria, in order to to have a concrete mechanism to do something as soon. Then uh, there is also another contribution in another day, which is um, history and reality. History and reality. It's uh, analytical 
uh, uh, approach of, of our history compared to our reality, the reality we are facing. Third, uh, media analysis, because the media, especially the top, top media channels like uh, BBC, CNN, uh, RTE, uh, France, France 24 and others, you know, they have their own agenda. But we are not aware, we are not only news telling, but they are, there is something behind that we should take care of. So I'm starting to analyze the media and press, world media and press, especially the top, which are influencing people. Also the arts, the, pub, the public arts for another day. The public arts like movies, mm -hmm. we, which you know uh, have a budget of me, of billions and uh, and and the TV uh, uh, series uh, and uh, hit uh, music, uh, pop music and songs, they are also uh, can be used for brainwashing and changing people's mind and you know uh, or distracting them from the essential things. There are, there are some kind of plans, hidden plans behind all that. Also, there are uh, also the, the, the encyclopedic studies in many ways, especially those of connecting the religions around unifying core, which is human. Find the, the human in all religions, emphasizing and highlighting what is human in, in all religions in order to unite them in instead of being conflicting or that you know uh, religious um, religious fanaticism or religious uh, um, intolerance that's going on and causing many problems yeah. also there are uh, there are art uh, there is the, my art being artist I cannot leave art aside and just write or, or re doing such researches uh, but the, uh, there were two uh, uh, times a week, two days a week that that produce art, and I can show you how I I I started to to make collage of 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 art. I used to paint, but now I'm doing more of collage because I'm taking parts of reality, connect them together from different sources in order to enhance the idea, like anti-war campaign or uh, talking about life and the eternity of life and all those values that are essential for humanity today. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, this approach is in harmony with the approach of Tolstoy uh, as well, I think, and uh, what Dalai Lama also preaches, I think. Um, and um, what would you recommend to young Earthmates? Uh, well, I, I, I would like to say that Life is more and more distracting, you know, with all its bright lights and um, promising things that wouldn't pay much or wouldn't last, you see. So I would like them to, to, to concentrate on their souls and what is going, what they are going to do through their life journey. This is very important. Uh, many people, especially the young generation, uh, some kind of living day by day experience or enjoyment, they enjoy day their own days. But this is wouldn't help because you may enjoy your day, but you suffer tomorrow, and this is the way. It's ups and downs, that curve, you know. So it is better to to see life whether it is up or down as as a total of 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 a journey revolutionary journey that you are trying to do something before you leave this world yes. and this is how uh, i'm living now and how i enjoy living because by living like that you know uh giving that eternal dimension of of our daily life or or earthly life uh uh uh, you found miraculously that all the problems and complications of your life that you would meet, uh, even the, the most dramatic or stretch among them, uh, are solved miraculously. 
uh, and turn it to be a better thing, a better motive to, to go forward. And this is my experience. And that's what I would like to, to say to all young people. Thank you so much, dear George Onsi. We're together. That's Thank how, you. Uh, Thank you very how much. I enjoy ending a conversation like this, like, you know, we're <laughs> Yes. Uh, maybe you. another time I, I will show you <laughs> what I prepared as graphics and things like that. No problem, I think. <laughs> uh, we, um, but no problem, no problem. Yeah, please go on. We'll, okay. we'll, Thank we'll, you so much. Thank uh, you so please much send them me. to me so that we can put them uh, in uh, my magazine that we're preparing. I send them. You mean send, yeah. send, send them. I will yeah. send them through Messenger. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. All the best. Together. Thank you. All Thank you best. so much. Thank you. Okay, my friend. Bye.